On this episode, we're fitting a tow bar to Terry the tow vehicle. And uh, we got the shed cleaned up last week. Shed's looking like an actual clean, organised shed. So this is the tow bar we're fitting today. It's a tag box hitch to suit SZ territory. Came with bag of bits, tow ball, plug, loom for reverse sensors, secretary, and the tongue there obviously. So I'm going to back Terry in. We've got an absolutely beautiful day here today. Sun's out, blue sky, it's been raining, typical winter. Uh, so we're going to uh, reverse Terry into the shed, get the toolbox ready and start pulling the rear bumper off and I'll give you a, a time lapse of that. I'm not going to bore, it'll only be a short video. I don't think anyone really wants to watch someone struggle fitting a tow bar. <laughs> so we're going to back that in, put you on a time lapse for the whole thing. It'll probably be a short video, but it's part of the racing program. Can't tow the race car, which is parked out there without a tow vehicle. Forgot to mention too, we're uh, trying a new microphone, so you'll have to let me know if the sound is any better. first half of it bolted on had a few issues the uh, instructions supplied weren't the instructions for this model so I had to go on the tag tow bar check the tow bar was right which it was and then I found a different set of instructions which meant I had to cut this little beaver panel it's not structural it's only there to hold the bumper in place so I've got all the uh, outside bolts on and I've still got a drill the two holes up in there and bolt through with a plate. I did come to the realisation that that little compressor is not big enough to run my rattle gun. So the shop needs an upgrade. Got the tow bar all bolted up. I uh, got the wiring run. I've just got to uh, finish cutting the bumper bar. But before I go putting the bumper bar back on, in the future, when I've got, I'm at the track or anything like that, 
I want to have an Anderson plug in here so I can run a fridge for a bit of cold beverages or something like that in the back. So I want to run that up in through here so I can mount the other end of the Anderson plug so I can hook it into a battery or a trailer, a solar panel, anything like that. So even if I've got a, I've got a King's uh, battery box in here, I can then also plug the battery box into the Anderson plug and hook a solar panel to it and charge the battery without the car can be locked. No wires running in through the car so it'll all be plumbed in properly. So that's the plan. So I'm going to do that now while I've got a chance. Uh, we ran into a few problems with the tag tow bar. Luckily I worked at a Ford dealership and I had some of the genuine Ford Territory bolts. The bolts they supplied was too small. So lucky I had some a big stash of original Territory bolts. So if you ever buy one, be careful. The instructions were wrong, the bolts were wrong, but the tow bar itself fits pretty good. So uh, it's just a little snag that someone might not have bolts or anything like that. Might have just been my model was a little bit different, but they are wrong. So it's something just to keep in mind. So I'm going to run this Anderson plug and then um, cut the bumper, get it all back together, and the tow vehicle's ready to go. I'll just show you all how I've done this in case anyone really wants to know. So I brought it up, I gave it a zip tie in there. Now this panel for the uh, for the jack here is is removable. So I've made this long enough so if I want to plug it into anything in the car, I've got a little bit of room. I can plug that back in there. Right, so gone so being that this is my everyday driver as well can't even tell that there's anything there then when you want it pop it open Anderson cord and then I'm going to run that down and then that'll have an Anderson plug there with the uh, seven pin flat and I can just plug into that if I've got a solar panel on anything I want to plug a solar panel in battery anything like that or if I want to run a device outside off my battery in the boot I can do it that way as well so that's how I'm running my Anderson plug should come up pretty good happy with that all right we're gonna cut out the bumper I'm actually gonna cut all the way down this, this tow bar seems to sit a bit lower but I'm not going to quite go as high as the original cutout mark because I think as it sits a bit lower it's not as high so wish me luck <laughs> As you can see, we've got the tow bar fitted. Cut's not too bad. 
got it in nice and neat saved that little clip there so it's still got a bit of rigidity just got to screw on my trailer plug cut my wire for my Anderson plug and finished uh, putting the bumper on my spare tyres flat I'll have to fix that this week. I found out it's got a puncher. That'll be where all the air's gone. So nearly done. It's taken a bit longer than I thought, but Abba. Job went pretty good, in all in all. Took a bit longer than I thought. It's afternoon now. The day is still beautiful. So I might go and enjoy a few beers. So I'll see you all next time. In the next episode, we should have the distributor cap here for snow. We might fit that up and see if we can't get her running. Um, I think we're gonna try and take it to the track the way it is and see just how bad it runs in its stock form. So thanks guys for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on LPS Racing.